X-Men Days of Future Past writer Simon Kinberg was recently asked about the possibility of the character Quicksilver, being played by Evan Peters, returning for X-Men Apocalypse. Kinberg replied that he would absolutely be back for the next X-Men movie. Schnepp Byer saw Quicksilver returning for the next X-Men film. I buy it. Um, I'm going to be seeing X-Men tonight. Hope it's awesome. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what you had posted earlier, like the two uh, character actors Evan from Kick-Ass. Evan Peters and Aaron Taylor Johnson. And they're so both myself. Quicksilver. And it's so weird when yeah. you to see that image from Kick-Ass and both of the actors. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're friends. And now they're both Quicksilver. Yeah. <laughs> it's just weird, guys. I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, sure. Why not? Should, why shouldn't he be in the next one? See, and this this really goes. Now, I have not seen X Men yet. I'm going to go see it tonight with Amy Rose and Sick Dennis out. and Schnepp are all going, and we're leaving Alicia behind because oh. she's kind of a loser. Oh, but no, she's, she's going not. to China. No, she's, she's not. not. China. I'm not your bad girl. Today, like, um, China. But uh, this myself. just goes Bye. to prove. Remember when the first pictures of Quicksilver came out, and everybody saw, "Oh, he looks so stupid. This is gonna <laughs> suck. Oh, he. They should have waited to see how Joss Whedon does Quicksilver." Silver right. Okay, I haven't seen X-Men yet, but everybody I've talked to who has, I know several people, including one sit at this table, some people are saying he may be the best part of that whole movie. The movie, like this is a movie, I said this on Facebook the other day, when a movie first comes out and that initial rush of reviews comes out, it can be a high rating, right? So you can get like, I don't know, like Spider-Man 2 will come out, it's got like a 79%. But as the days go on and more reviews get added, you, you'll see, generally for most movies, those that rating come down a little bit. X-Men came out to 91% and it has gone up. Last I checked, it was at 94. So it keeps going up and a lot of these guys who are rating it so high saying this might be the best film of the year they're gonna see this year, all this kind of stuff, a lot of them are saying Quicksilver is the best part of it. So never just let a costume let you think a character is going to be good or bad. But both Given of it, us were jacking on it when it first we totally came out. We were like, that we silver totally outfit looks weird disco yeah, style. But we were remember like, I said, yeah. I said let's weird keep it in wig. context though. Remember? Right. Awesome. So let's keep it in context. It is like the 60s, 70s. That wouldn't have looked so right. weird at the time, but it still did look kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Let's be yeah. honest. But anyway, Amy Rose, you saw the film. Don't give it away. I won't. I won't. But does, I want it, to. does the concept of Quicksilver coming back and, and being a part of the next X-Men film excite you? Beyond belief. And I was also in the camp that, oh, he looks really bad. Right. And <laughs> I'm telling you, I will not reveal anything, but he was one of the best parts. Complete scene stiller. Crushed exactly how he's supposed to be in the comics. Like, I love what he did here. So, I mean, we were all worried about it because of the whole, you know, lines that they had to dance across with not revealing this and, you yeah. know, the Avengers mm -hmm. and this and both properties. But they completely get away with it. They capture all the characteristics I wanted him to, and he crushed it. So I'm so excited for you to see it so I can finally yeah. explore and talk to you guys about it, right. but I'm really excited he's coming back. And you we will are, be too. By the way, we are going to be recording our AMC spoilers review of X-Men Days of Future Past tomorrow. It'll be yes. online. It, it'll air on Friday, so watch for that. Alicia won't be in it because <laughs> no. she's going to be in China. Yeah. But Alicia, do you get excited about the idea that he might be coming back? Only because of Amy Rose. Yeah. 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 I trust yeah. this girl, <laughs> especially when it comes to X-Men. Yes. X-Men is your jam, jam, so I believe you. Even though those Carl's Jr. ads... <laughs> We're yes. terrible. <laughs> We're Quicksilver, terrible. but not his fault, obviously. Right. Uh, I think it's interesting how we have these two Quicksilvers happening. Simon Kinberg says he thinks audiences these days are sophisticated enough to know the difference. But have we had that before, where there's been mm. two characters played by <coughs> same character played by two different actors at the same Simultaneously. time? Simultaneously. Because I mean, we've had different Batman. We've had yeah. You know, but I mean, maybe some real life it. stuff. Like yeah. one guy's playing the president, and the other guy's playing. Yeah, the and like, like Peter Pan or something, yeah. but not comic yes, books, no, like, really. No, I don't. I can't way. recall that. I had a couple of double Nixons see. and double Alfred Hitchcock yeah. movies recently. Yeah, yeah. Right? and we're gonna get two That's Peter right. Pans. I mean, there's gonna be two incarnations at the same time. But yeah. We'll see. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.